I would say that uh, now Europe needs uh, uh, policies for the increase of potential growth, needs to continue to avoid policies that would only, in an ephemeral way, give the impression of contributing to growth, and has to try and achieve policies that would enable the growth generated by structural reforms. So, number one, potential growth needs to rely on structural reforms in each of our country, countries. The objective of structural reforms is precisely to increase the growth potential of our countries. I speak here on behalf of the country, Italy, that in the last 12 or 15 years only had half the growth rate uh, enjoyed on average by the rest of the Eurozone. And that because of a low growth potential. And the uh, reforms uh, uh, like uh, the labor market reforms, like the liberalization, opening up to competition, especially in the services sector, uh, uh, and, and other reforms are precisely intended to uh, increase uh, and, and the speeding up of infrastructures are precisely meant to uh, increase the uh, potential uh, growth uh, rate over the medium term. 